Hey guys, it's Tasha, and I'm back with a realistic seashell nail tutorial. So first things first, I applied and cured two coats of a custom off-white gel polish that I mixed. And now I'm going back using our white art gel, and I am painting long lines from the tip of the nail down towards the cuticle. The line should almost look like a stretched out teardrop. I want it rounded and a little bit thicker at the tip, stretching down to a nice thin point at the end. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm mixing some of our builder base with a tiny bit of that off-white gel polish that I mixed earlier. I'm going to use my Detailer 2 brush and apply the mixture to the lines we just finished painting, flash curing in between each application to make sure that that gel keeps from flooding together and keeps those lines nice and crisp and clean. We're going to apply a thin coat of that off-white gel polish again over the entire nail and this is going to help blend those raised lines that we just painted with the rest of the nail. Once you've got that coat on there, you're going to fully cure. Using a gel brush, I'm going ahead and I'm applying a grayish brown to the area near the cuticle using a padding motion. I decided to use Ugly Duckling number 152 gel polish. I think it's a great natural color for this kind of design. Do not cure. We're going to jump on into the next step, which is with the off-white gel polish mixture, lightly tap the outer rim of the color we just applied. This will help to slightly blend the line. You can work the color up the nail slightly if you'd like to also. Using the grayish brown again, we're going to dab an arc shape between the brown near the cuticle and the tip of the nail. Gently soften either side of the arc with the off-white gel polish shade and then cure. Now I'm going in and I'm lightly dabbing a very small amount of dark brown, number 65 from Ugly Duckling, onto the top section of the cuticle area and then in the middle of the arc section. Don't use too much of the dark colors because they will very easily overtake your design. Use it very sparingly. Once you're happy with what you've got going on on the nail, you can go ahead and cure. I decided I need kind of like a complementary color in there. It was looking a little too dull. So I decided to use a mustard yellow. This is number 166 from Ugly Duckling. I'm just applying it in the little arc area and then in the upper outer rim of the cuticle area. Once I'm happy with how it looks, I pop it in the lamp for a cure. If you're finding that the blend of your colors isn't smooth enough, just go back with a small amount of the off-white gel polish and gently dab in the areas that you'd like to adjust. Once you're happy, you guessed it, cure again. Just when I thought I was done, I decided that this nail needed a little bit more detail. So I'm actually going over again with number 65, that deep, deep brown color, and I'm adding a little bit um, more kind of splotches and details around where I added them before, just kind of enhancing what I had previously put down. Again, use this color sparingly or any dark colors, because dark colors can very quickly overtake your design, and it's a lot easier to add more than to try and remove it. Now I'm going in with Ugly Duckling's award-winning matte top coat, my absolute fave, and I'm applying this very sparingly to the surface of the nail. You can see I'm pretty much dry brushing it on, and I'm really making sure that I'm getting into those grooves and making sure that the product isn't settling in there. We want to keep those grooves prominent. If you add too much top coat and it settles in between there, you're going to lose the texture of the nail. So apply this sparingly, cure in your lamp. Once it's cured, you're going to cleanse that inhibition layer off with gel cleanse and your shell nail is complete. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you next time. Bye! Hey, let's be social. Find me on Instagram at Natasha Harton.